everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, tonight's another night of mushroom awesome. Let's make an awesome candle with this napkin. All right, so we get the candle, not the candle, the napkin down to one ply, and then I trim it a little bit. Then I have this candle from Dollar Tree, and I'm just matching up where I want the pattern on the napkin to be in regards to the, na to the um, I keep saying napkin, dang it, candle, and then I trim it accordingly and then I wrap it around the candle just to get a sizing and I trim it there yes it is too long um and, well it's too wide right now but that's okay so then we make sure that it's nice and straight and we wrap it around and we try to get out as many of the wrinkles as possible but you know you're not going to get all of them it's okay it's a it's a candle don't get crazy <laughs> Um, and then I start applying a heat gun to it. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, you need to be mindful. It is a heat gun and it's hot and it turns into hot wax. Um, you'll see though, that when you go to do this, you'll see the wax, it gets the, the napkin will get shiny on the outside. That's because the wax is melting underneath and it is absorbing your napkin. So you'll see, see, there it is. It gets nice and shiny. So all I'm doing right now is trying to get it to adhere. Um, it looks like I'm way closer to the candle than I actually was. I was not that close with my heat gun. And then I give it a good roll with my hand just to see if I can get it to really adhere. And it seems like it did a good job. And then I had a little overage there. So we're just going to try trim it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, I mean, you be as perfect as you want. I should say that because just because I don't mind being imperfect. <laughs> and then I go back and I put some more heat to it. And again, I roll. Now, listen, if you don't like the feeling of wax on your hands, then you might want to wear some gloves. I don't mind. I'm an 80s kid and we used to put wax on our fingers every day. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if you remember that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so then once that's done, I sand off the excess. Now, see the sanding block? It is like straight across. You don't want to you don't want to angle it because then you're going to um you're going to roll your corners and you don't want to do that. You don't want a rounded corner on your candle. So just and I'm doing this super gently. You probably can't tell, but it's really I'm doing it really gently. And I do that for both the bottom and the top, and then I go back over it with some more heat and I roll it some more, put some more heat to it, roll it just to make sure that it's really adhered. Now, for us, we're not going to be using this candle. Like we don't burn candles here. We use them to because we think they're pretty. Um I know somebody's going to be in the comments saying this is a fire hazard candles are in and of themselves fire hazard just watch it if you burn your candle after doing this you have to watch it god bless america it's fine <laughs> it's fine i appreciate the cause for concern it's awesome all right so there we go and then we roll it a couple more times just to make sure but look look at how stop it stop how pretty is this you could do this with any kind of napkin. This napkin happens to be from Joanne Fabrics, but are you kidding me? Look at how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. And my daughter's going to love it too because it has mushrooms. Yay. All right, friends. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you.